1440p gaming doesn't have to be expensive and we're gonna let you in on a little secret on how you can do it for 600 bucks. A modern i7 processor inside an old workstation PC that can take any graphics card you want at a great price and we're gonna show you step by step how to put it together. But first, a word from today's sponsor. It's no secret that here at the Toasty Bros HQ we love Micro Center and their amazing deals. But what we love most is when they open a brand new store and for those of you in North Carolina, you're in luck. Micro Center is opening a brand new store in Charlotte May 10th. If you live near Charlotte, you should sign up for all the early access perks and offers. April is also Apple Savings Month over at Micro Center. While Apple products might not be the best for gaming, they're great for productivity and if you're a part of the Apple ecosystem already. One of my favorite deals is Apple MacBook Air 13 for only $1,169. And if you consider yourself a tech enthusiast, you're missing out if you aren't signed up for Micro Center News. With tech tips, reviews, exciting news, and more, Micro Center is posting the latest and greatest information in the industry for free, and you need to check it out. Micro Center is also having a deal for new customers. You can get the Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer for only $149. If you're interested in learning more about all of Micro Center's great offerings, check out the links in the description down below or head over to microcenter.com. Big thanks to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. So what we have right here is an HP Z4 G4. Uh, these are workstations from HP that kind of resemble the Lenovo P520 and shout out to PC server parts. They were nice enough to send over this workstation for us to give it a shot. All right, it's coming out. It's a boy! Oh. Anywho, everything inside this should be very similar to those other workstations like the P520. Good power supply, good RAM support How and all that. And I don't know. They somehow made it one piece. Yeah, like it's like they glued it together. Oh, it's a mess. <laughs> I mean, of all the ways to transport it, this is one of them. This is one of them. This and is a very good. Oh, it's very protective. Stinks, dude. It smells like freaking fish food. I was worried this was gonna be. <laughs> I got. I gotta wait a second. Smell that. Where are you hugging it? <laughs> mm. It does oh. smell like fish food, Johnny. You want to sniff? Oh. <laughs> um. Shout out to PC Server Parts. I don't know why it smells like fish food, but you know <laughs> we got a refurbished computer here that I will say I'm glad it's not as big as that it's, box made it seem. Yeah. This is actually like. I, I, they are kind of getting the the Lenovo P520 vibes. Very sleek. It has like almost a hand. Yeah, it actually is a handle up top. Some basic ports in the front. Actually, pretty updated ports. Honestly, like USB-C, DVD drive, some air float. It's definitely smaller. This is smaller and a lot lighter than a P520. Now the one we got configured here comes with 32 gigs of DDR4 memory, no storage or graphics card. Actually, I think it should come with a basic graphics card because they do make you get a very basic display adapter for like $15. Um, and a 750 watt power supply. And this thing is supported 128 gigs of RAM and after our discount code is $358. Dude, the smell is, is overwhelming inside of the PC. Where was this? Was this <laughs> an aquarium? But as you can see, this thing is not short on upgradability. We have a total of eight RAM slots for a quad channel. We have a actually good looking tower cooler that has yeah. like a black top to it. We have, it looks like two PCIe gen three by 16 lanes, which is pretty cool. Along with some other PCIe lanes. What a, what's the power supply do we actually get? Should be a 750 watt. It's not even labeled, so I'm just gonna take Matt's word for it. Yep, listing says 750 watt. That's pretty awesome, considering it will come with all the PCI power we need as well. I do see some M.2 here. That might just be a Wi-Fi M.2 though. Um, so we're gonna be, I assuming, are we going with 2.5 inch? Is there no actual M.2? Oh, well, yeah, 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 it comes yeah. off the, yeah, all right. Yeah, so it does support, it. it should support NVMe SSDs. I kind of opted for either two and a half inch or NVMe. Um, so we'll see what ends up working with these as our first time experimenting with these systems. And under that, tower cooler, we get that i7-7820X. Uh, we do get two sticks of RAM pre-installed at, is that 32 gigs? 2666 yep. DDR4, pretty cool. So yeah, config's pretty good, um, but you might have a little bit more headroom for upgrades in the future. And speaking of those upgrades that we're going with, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is our beautiful GPU, the oh, RTX man, 2080 Super, which I feel like we haven't bought these used before yet on the channel, but um, this is just a basic blower style card, nothing super fancy, but uh, we paid $220 for it. And this is what's gonna get us into 1440p gaming. Yeah, only need two tools for it. Really one tool for this is Phillips. Um, let's see if I need your knife. 
We might, and we might want to do the NVMe first just yeah. because of the graphics card. Which we'll show you guys this card real quick, but this is an older card. It does have some really awesome horsepower still under it. And it's definitely good for 1440p gaming because I mean, I use this as home still for my main PC. 28 Super works really good. And speaking of that NVMe, we just went with a basic Team Group MP33 SSD, one terabyte Gen 3. We're gonna go ahead and install that real quick and show you guys how easy it is. Yeah, so while Matt opens the drive, I'll go ahead and the best way I can show Jonah here, this tiny little PH1 screw. We're gonna undo. Magnetic screwdriver is definitely good for this. Oh, look, it is magnetic. Woo. Wow. All right, and it's that easy. I'm just waiting on my uh, my drive. Here comes the delivery of the drive. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take it. We got one notch here. It's only gonna go in one way, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, it is a little bit tight. It's obviously not quite as bad as I'm making it seem. I just want the camera to be able to kind of see it. So it's gonna go in an angle like that. So you kind of just wanna push down while kind of holding it in place. Make sure that's all the way in. You notice how we can't see the gold trace. It's actually kind of cool, it's see-through. Nice. It looks like a see-through M.2. You can actually see the, the traces all the way in, which is kind of cool. We're gonna take our little tiny M.2 screw, try to make sure it's centered and boom. Wow, look how easy that was. We got one terabit of storage easy peasy. And uh, one thing to mention that a lot of people have concerns about, and we're actually have some YouTube shorts about this, is this system is on the uh, supported Windows 11 list. So if you are someone who's concerned about that and don't want to go through like the hoops of making Windows 11 work, these are natively supported for Windows 11. So that's the benefit of spending extra money on these versus like older Optiplexes now. So we'll go ahead and open up the graphics card spot, which we'll see. I think it's going to be two like push downs okay, probably. Let's see two push downs. Let's do that. Go push. Ah! Just like that. So it lifts this up right here. So you have access to the uh, PCI slots on that up. So we'll be using a, these two. So I'll take out this bottom one right here. I will say it's not as pretty looking on the inside as the P520. P520 has all those like black and red, very sleek color scheme and everything, but it's as easy to work as a P520 for sure. Well, while having a lot of uh, more, more space saving properties. Yeah, the P520 fit. can be a lot bigger than this. I think this is closer <laughs> to like a normal like office PC. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and close this down. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's there we go. That's so that's in. Um, and then for wow. PCI power, so these are all clipped in right here very nicely. These two eight pins right here. Well, it's actually a six pin with the eight pin right here. So we want to attach that. All we need is a six and an eight pin. So we'll take one, push that together like so. Line it up. We'll take out the other one. Don't even need to add that. Boom. Boop. Just like that, guys. We have everything installed. You can kind of tuck the cables away a little bit better and make everything look nice. But again, 10 core, 20 threaded i9, 32 gigs of DDR4 memory, 2080 Super. And if you do use our discount code, by the way, at PC Server Parts, you can save a bit of money. It is an affiliate link, though. Do keep that in mind. Uh, but you do save some money on this system, and you can configure it with a bunch of different CPUs as well if you want to go more budget or even spend a bit more money. But we think this is the sweet spot, and I will say this CPU model in particular has the most inventory right now at PC Server Parts. So I guess yeah. let's uh, put it all together and install Windows. I'm just excited to see the Z perform. I, I think it's going to be... There uh, we go. I think it's gonna be pretty good, and also I like how much smaller it is. It's it got right it, it, it's got heft, but it's smaller. Yeah. Let's go benchmark it. All right, gamers, we are in Fortnite. I will show you all the settings once we land, but. Just to give you a synopsis, we are running DX12 performance settings. So basically all the other extra settings are off. We're on far view distance and everything else is on low. Um, I'm interested to see what the 7820X can do. This is definitely a game that's really testing that 7820X. As you can see, we're at 100% usage on this CPU. So um, we'll see how things load in. We're probably gonna wanna get two drops in, especially with this older CPU to see uh, how well it holds up. But it looks like so far with this 2080 Super at 1440p, by the way, it's not doing too bad. Sorry, Anonymous. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed right now for performance settings, especially for this PC with the 7820X. It's a little bit under $600. This is performing really, really good at 1440p. Oh, you're running away now? Mmm, yeah, buddy. Why does this SMG have such range? Holy crap. Dude is, oh my, are you kidding me? Oh, 
Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, these, this is AI. But yeah, I mean, I can comfortably say Fortnite more than playable at 1440p performance settings. With how cheap 1440p monitors are getting, you get some for like 150 or less dollars high refresh rate. Honestly, it's probably the best experience in PC gaming in terms of price performance and in terms of like the visual quality and everything you get. This is a really good PC for that. Let's move on to the next game. Oh, you oh. use different guns? Oh, you're forced? Oh God, all right, well. Uh, all right, guys, this is the finals, and we're trying out this new mode uh, where we're all bunnies. Um, <laughs> so, all right. Bunny so basically, time. basically, we're running 1440p. I'll show you all the settings in just a second. We're at 1440p. We got max FOV balance DLSS on, medium settings. We do actually have ray tracing on as well. And we're gonna show you guys this thing can do some 1440p. Whoa, this is a weird map. Whoa. Yeah, this is, this looks like, I mean, we're doing a 5v5, so this actually may run a little worse than your normal like quick player tournament uh, finals match. Yeah, 1440p, this is definitely a tougher game to run than some of the other ones we've tested, like Fortnite, um, which is gonna be more CPU bound, but it's still doing pretty good here. Moss is gonna fire. Dude, they're Jesus. such a unit, man. We got one. I think there's only one left. Oh my god. Oh, they're rezzing. Why? Oh Push my god. All teammate. Right, all right, all right. Oh. Oh geez. Oh geez. They're gonna. Oh. Get the medic. Oh god. I don't wanna die. Oh geez. Oh geez. Okay. Oh wow. You know. I went from liking this mode to quickly hating it. I feel like if you have a, a, a good team, it's really fun. My team is not making this fun. Oh my god, dude, they're horrible. Get them. Ah! Stand on the platform. You were the please finals, Please. <laughs> that finals. was the finals. That was uh, a yeah, game was, mode. That was pretty crazy. At 1440p, we were able to maintain 100 FPS, so um, we know the PC didn't hold us back from winning. So yeah, let's run 3D Mark Time Spy. We'll run a couple other games, see what else this thing can do. And uh, yeah, talk more about this configuration we got and the other configurations you can get for PC server parts if you want to spend a little bit more money. We just got done benchmarking this PC right here at 1440p, and I'm happy to say that eSports titles and AAAs ran very well. Yeah, you saw all the games we tested, but we did test some more. We also ran Cyberpunk at 1440p high settings with no DLSS and got a 60 FPS average. And considering we have a 2080 Super, you can get even more performance using DLSS, and that 30 more times by score absolutely was shocking. It was 10,586, which is a five cent per point score, which considering that we have an eight core 16 threads CPU, we have the 2080 Super and really good specs and a basis for upgrades in the future. This is looking like a really good competitor for something like the P520. And if you do want to opt for something like the i9-7900X, because stock may vary on the 7820X, you can see some of the performance numbers on screen here to see how much more performance you will get if you opt for that CPU. And be sure to buy one of these from PC Server Parts using our link down below and discount code to save money to get the optimal price for this combo. But all in all, very impressed with this and uh, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of the Z4 G4 from HP in the comment section down below? And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. This PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.tech now that it's nice and upgraded, ready to go with a one-year warranty. PCBros.tech, we have budget PCs, we have high-end PCs, we have everything you want for PC gaming. Use code TOASTYBROS2 on checkout. Save 2% of your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace.